the monotony of life in India is uh, challenged. Areas in which entrepreneurs were never encouraged are the areas into which these people would want to go in. They are small, but they know what they want. And as a result, the government has come in much later. And as you know, like the IT industry itself, without the government, notwithstanding the government, IT grew in India, and the government realized the potential of IT, IT-enabled services. Similarly, the startups fit in very well with the Prime Minister's vision of the three Ds, democracy, demand, and demography. As a result, I would like to say that Startup India is definitely a government's uh, effort to incubate profits, as you've rightly said, incubate profit of those wonderful hot ideas through which many of the startups are now becoming the cool startups of the world where everybody is talking about it, put, wanting to put money into it. We've always had this whole thing about India is known for Jugaad and you really cannot do anything in terms of innovation. But that's because I think like many other things in India, we like to run down our own achievements, our own, our own claims to doing things. And we built up this momentum about, oh, Jugaad is rejectable. But no, it is Jugaad which elsewhere in other parts of the country, other parts of the world, which was recognized as the disruptive technology using skills which really became innovation. And today India's Jugaad is the innovation that we are talking about. Indian youngsters are proving that where technology or the benefit of knowledge and skill couldn't reach, they have achieved it themselves. And as a result, today Jugaad is the innovation that the government is also recognizing if with a bit of help they can also move forward even in the rural areas. So when Prime Minister spoke in August, yeah. August 15th during the Independence Day uh, celebrations about wanting to encourage startups and stand up, startups whether in the urban areas or in rural areas would be given the facility which they require, the finance which they require, the incubation which is required for which the government will come in into an area in which they have already proven themselves. And therefore, whether it is the Internet of Things, whether it is big data kind of, um, analysis, or whether you're looking at hospitality, the range of service in which today you have startups working are fantastic. That kind of spectrum is not available anywhere else in the world, and we are fully ceased of that kind of a range which is available. So that's where the assurance which government wants to say, startups, as, uh, as, as our understanding goes, does not relate only to technology using technology-based uh, or application-based skills, but it can relate to clothing and textiles, or it can even be aerospace or defense-related industries. Now, when we talk of Indian startups as being cool, these are the range of services in which, or sectors in which startups are present, and I don't want to get into details of which, all of us are fairly seized of the areas in which startups are already available. I'll give a, f a few examples a bit later. But the point that we want to speak about is what is it that the government is doing about startups? If, if they've existed all these years, they've created an ecosystem, so where is the government in all this? The government is only doing one thing. It is very clear in saying we recognize startups. What are the startups? We have recognized startups by saying we validate the eligibility criteria and we also make sure the application to be recognized as a startup becomes simpler and then going into the real time data collection and making sure the ministerial board will not obstruct but only facilitate and enable the process. Simplifying rules and procedures, the details of which I can get into it, but because this is Pecha Kucha, 20 seconds, 20 slides, I'll move forward. The incentives for startups are very clearly explained. 100% tax exemption is being given for three years by the choice of the entrepreneur themselves. It's not as if we are stipulating these are the three years you have to choose. In the five years that you want to be recognized in the past five years or in the running five years, you could choose the three years for which your profit will have to be exempted by, from tax. 
long-term capital gains exemptions are also being given. And then the 10,000 crores which was created as fund of funds is also going to attract private in equity uh, fund managers to be putting in money there. And through SIDB, this will be reaching out to the uh, startups themselves. Now, incubation networks are going to be created. Now, of course, there are questions in the parliament. People ask us about, oh, what is the planning commission up to? You wound up the early planning commission, the new Niti Aayog. What is it doing? I would take the example of startups to say doing a lot more, which every planning commission of the country should have done over the last decades. And we had this wonderful Stalinist socialist model in which they were producing fantastic centrally uh, dictated terms of reports which were not useful in the ground. Whereas what our Niti Aayog is going to be doing is to set up 70 incubation centers all over the country. It's also going to rank in innovations. Top 10 incubators are going to be ranked every year after a thrash out competition and they will be getting 10 crores each as an incentive award post uh, the uh, the competition itself. Now, innovation in educational institutions are also being taken up. Ministry of HRD is co-opted for it. Department of Higher Education particularly is setting up to show what startups can become like. The DST, Department of Science and Technology, is working together with us. They are going to be setting up centers which will take, uh, help and facilitate innovation uh, producing, um, you know, set of students and making sure tinkering of labs or tinkering labs which will be set, set up in schools, nearly 500 of them, and that's also being done by Niti Ayo. So it's a planning commission with action at the ground level and not something which sits here in Parliament Street and produces report which has nothing to do with the ground. And there are several other measures. The insolvency and the bankruptcy code which is being planned is going to make it easy to start up as much as to get out of startups, because if you're not doing well, there shouldn't be a taboo, there shouldn't be a hitch, they should be able to get out of it faster. So these are the kind of uh, things which we are doing. I'll rapidly go through some of the startups which are doing wonderful work. It is not to promote those particular ones, but to give you an example of the sectors in which they are. Next drop is something which is doing a lot of work about monitoring how water is made available in two cities in Karnataka, but they are now going to be expanding it makes accountable and uh, answerable governance. So if no good if a government says, I'm going to be giving water to you at this particular hour, and it doesn't come. These are agencies which are going to tell people as to what time they're going to get the water, and if it doesn't come, you know what happens afterwards. So such kind of a thing is going to be helping people to interface with government and make government more efficient. Uh, th this agency, this particular startup, uh, simply learn invests a lot in making people employable. There are, you know, the famous saying that a lot of engineers come out of Indian colleges, but they're not employable. They don't have that skill set which is important for employing. And these kind of, uh, you know, startups give them that, that, that particular kind of uh, set of skills. They invest a lot in this, and uh, uh, the kind of money that they put in, I'm told, for one hour of video learning, nearly two lakhs of rupees is spent and with technology upgrading itself every six months they will have to be moving over to a newer set of things this is the kind of uh, investment that they're making and on can do is to be able to help in solving public uh, uh, investment go through uh, go through to research and development investing agencies and small uh, entrepreneurs we are also making sure that these uh, get more venture capital funds and so on now, the, the other next one which I would like to give you as an ex example is map, map My Genome. This is making a big difference in health, health-related matters. Here, what we want to say is we are making sure that we refund patent fees. So here, it's a question of getting a lot of patents registered. For which, what kind of help can the government do? You're giving the refund, total refund of the kind of money which is required for registering your patents. I'm just taking an example for each of the cases as to what the government has done through the action policy, which action plan, which was announced by the Prime Minister on January 16th when we launched startups. That's the next one about which most of us have heard. Ms. Sitaraman, your time's up. Yes. If you would give me a startup advantage. Pay team uh, uh, is the one which, oh, I didn't hear this coming for Suresh Prabhu. Railways seem to be favored. Um, see, the, the, the point about startups, I'll now condense many of my slides. 
and conclude to say the effort of the government is to ensure that we encourage startups because they are the ones who are spread all over the country. We'd like to have them spread even more. They create jobs, probably few in number, but much better because they are in situ and they address issues using technology in dealing with customer problems. They don't stop with just telling you what is available on the menu of food or various restaurants which are around in the city, but they're also working in aerospace and defense related sectors. We are here to help them, and I'm sure they're going to help the country move forward at a faster pace. Thank you. The incident, a promising young Kabaddi player was shot dead on the streets of Rotak in Haryana. What's truly alarming is that the fatal shooting was caught on camera on Tuesday afternoon. Kabaddi player Sukhvinder Singh. Instead of living a quiet, happy, boring life, so I decided to get married. And my wife says, uh, welcome to Hellboy. But the episode ain't that bad. It's just about alright. Above average.